this jagadamba in her absolute form is uh, it transcends all duality in her absolute form so ishwara in his absolute form is none other than the mahamaya in her absolute form because that one absolute form alone became ishwara and prakriti isn't it so in her absolute form she is the one so when you just like we always normally we always say lord 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 so you can say it like this also devi 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 and there is nothing wrong with that because they are inseparable hmm? so in uh, she transcends all, all, both the aspects what both the aspects both of vyakt and avyakt she transcends that so as a absolute then as the uh, uh, unmanifest causal state uh, uh, she is the womb of all creations as the unmanifest causal state she is the womb of all creations and that is also called as hiranyagarbha that is also called as uh, the the garbha garbha means womb hiranya means the golden womb ha uh, so some places they say it that way and then so where is the whole creation whole creation is in the seed form in the unmanifest form in the womb of the mother and then uh, she is the one she is the same one who is throbbing through the entire creation with activity and uh, in the transcendental state she is one with the supreme as the uh, 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 and when she is one with the supreme she is she is one with the infinite and she is the one they you cannot as that absolute she is the one and then uh, then the in the shakta shakta scriptures she is one without a second she is one without a second we say brahman is one she is also one without a second in that absolute form and thereafter uh, uh, but that power which she uh, we, she is of the nature of that power all that is uh, there it's unmanifest and she is gone beyond manifest or unmanifest to be the absolute and she is and uh, when we come down a bit to ishwar prakriti she is inseparable from the uh, from the lord she is one part and parcel of the lord the lord cannot express without her and she cannot express without the lord hmm? so a river cannot express without the bed river bed and river bed has got no meaning if there is no water there understand river bed is unchanging water is continuously moving and that is how is just an example now start imagining ishwar and prakriti one is moving one is usme mat phasna hai let them reveal because your imagination will be limited to whatever that reality is hmm? and in this way just and how they are one ishwar and prakriti just as 
heat and fire are one in the sun like that they are one so sun is one but it expresses as two what heat and light similarly truth is one the absolute is one but it expresses as what ishwar and prakriti and that is this that is this yeah. so is that one whenever you call that one as ishwara it is always with a reference to prakriti when you call that one as prakriti it is always with the reference to ishwara because from one's point of view it alone is there is nothing else apart from it and in this way uh, she is called also as the power of the lord the maya of the lord and this way uh, uh, whatever we see and experience in this world is nothing but the power of the lord which is maya and the uh, and it is that it is that infinite who is functioning through this uh, this this maya uh, and understand the the and who is that one who is expressing through the maya who is that expressing through the maya ishwara ishwara so who is expressing through the mind atma correct who is expressing through the dream again the mind or the self consciousness alone so but when we we are in the waking state we forget this here it is, when i am saying and triggering you asking question it answer is correct but we are not aware and alert about this when we are moving through the world you see for that what is required you need to come to satsang and sit down quietly that's when it is clicking your answers are coming from you <laughs> correct so is there is there a way yes you sit down calmly and once and for all you click it <laughs> once and for all and once it clicks it will start expressing in your life continuously it clicked to you that you are the wife or the husband isn't it mara dali role change ho gaya you have accepted it therefore all that that being a husband or being a wife represents all the data that goes around with all the duties all the responsibilities all the everything automatically starts expressing through you because you have accepted have we accepted that we are that one have we accepted that we are that ishwar or that uh, shakti prakriti that prakriti is her and ishwara is functioning through me through through this prakriti don't bring in me in between that's why i cancelled it so don't bring in i don't bring in me don't bring in mine just talk as a uh, as an observation but do it with bhav <laughs> because this ego needs to be dissolved and in this way both maya expresses itself i already told you as the micro and the macro and uh, uh, at the micro level how does maya express what did i say at the individual mind at the total level at the shakti or mahamaya theek hai avyakta at the total level it is called as maya at the individual level it is not called mind it is called ignorance <laughs> oh so we are all ignorant depends where your attention is if your attention is on your mind then you are ignorant if your attention is on your consciousness then you are wise because only consciousness can make the wisdom express mind cannot express the wisdom maya by nature is infinite and when it expresses at the individual level it seems that it is expressing it is called as mind mind is a product of ignorance and what is that why has that mind come about because we have forgotten who we are because we have forgotten that the 
the truth. We have forgotten our essential nature. That's why the mind has come about. Does the Ishwara experience his own potentiality as mind? No. In the picture we see it as his wife. Do you accept your mind as uh, a, an uh, inseparable part of you and you take care of it, protect it, you protect your wife, you protect your children, you protect your house, you protect your body, you protect your health, you protect your hunger, you protect your uh, occupation, etc, etc, etc. But do you protect your mind? How much time do we spend to protect our mind? Only the physical we are worried about, not our mental. Because if you are protecting the mind and care, very careful about to bring it only the good data, then you will not get involved in unwanted things. Then you will not watch unwanted things on the TV. Then you will not listen to unwanted. Then you will not go in that environment where it, it gets agitated, it gets disturbed then every living moment you will find the, how can I bring peace and tranquility to the mind. That will be your service to the mind, isn't it? Right or not? But we don't do that because we are not accepted. We are only taken mind is a big problem. <laughs> so this ignorance at the individual level, so Bhagavad Lord Ishwara, I just used the words very freely, Lord or Ishwara, he does not have a problem with the Maya because it's his potentiality. We have a problem with our potentiality called mind or ignorance. And how does this mind express? Uh, that is very technical here. So here, in, uh, here it says, it expresses as, I don't know, First thing, it can happen in the class also. I don't know what is going on. Why did I come all the way for this? Why I don't know? Because I can't understand what is uh, this uh, uh, Brahman and uh, Ishwar and Prakriti and Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh and Durga, Lakshmi, Saraswati. I don't know what is all this going on. I and Maybe I am listening. I know all these, but this is too much, you know. I can't understand. Sometimes you say they don't exist. Sometimes you say they exist in their absence. Sometimes you say they exist. <laughs> I don't understand. So first is I don't know. Majority people live in that I don't know. Then I, if they raise themselves a little bit, then I can't understand. And the third one is that I uh, I, because I don't know and I can't understand, therefore I can't have an experience of it or I don't have an experience of it. So I don't know if God, God is there. I don't understand God. Why? Because I haven't had an experience. But same person, you ask after he has had an experience. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Many people go, uh, they, unbeliever, unbelievers become believers, isn't it? Some people at, just I was watching on uh, YouTube, somehow it came, I don't go looking for this. And this lady died and she went, said, I went to the Vaikunt and came back. And she had the darshan of the Vaikunt. She must, be, must have been doing something, some sadhana. See? And she came in great detail, she narrated how it was. We can say it is a projection of our mind, but everything is a projection only, you know, of that truth. And that truth, whatever the variety that you are seeing is pervaded by the Shakti. So, here, I don't know, I don't understand and I don't have experience of it. These are counteracted by threefold sadhanas. What is that? I don't know is counteracted by shravanam. I don't understand is counteracted by mananam. Good. And I don't have an experience is counteracted or dissolved. 
just not contraction it's dissolved through contemplation in contemplation when we think isko bolte hain sanyam in patanjali yoga sutras if i do sanyam on her or if i do sanyam on a leaf if i do a sanyam on any bark sanyam means where your mind and intellect and your senses are only focused on one that thing that object has to reveal all its secrets <laughs> without killing all the animals in experimentation this is how ayurveda came about this is how indian astrology came about have all the upavedas the dhanur shastra the uh, the language the all of them came about like this only they were revelations and re- revelation only happens when we are able to tune in to contemplate but tune first contemplation will only happen when all your faculties are working towards one if there is a slight two forget it it will not happen if it is two then savikalpa samadhi will take place if it is one nirvikalpa samadhi will take place and nirvikalpa samadhi may be a may be a uh, uh, where there is nothing but here we go in savikalpa samadhi with some object of contemplation and it has to reveal its if that intention is there it will reveal you go with the intention of devi she will reveal if i go to her and say mom then the mom will come out of her it has to there is no question but to that same person if i go to as a girlfriend then she will express that way if i if i speak to her as if she is the enemy then she will also respond that way isn't it that my intention is is will invoke what is the response from her so what are what are we speaking we maximum time we speak to ourselves what are we speaking to ourselves what are we invoking from our mind how i am bad and how how i am good and others are bad how i can't do this or i can't do that how this is difficult or not difficult we must continuously expose our mind to silence and in that silent mind if by grace of god some thought comes it will reach its fruition straight away what could be that thought some maybe you need uh, uh, a food maybe you need a house it will come <laughs> this is a smarter way of living but because it comes those who are sanyasis and those who are totally virakta Uh, dispassionate towards everything they don't even allow that to happen in savikalpa samadhi they only want to go to the source of the lord also that is the absolute they don't want to get carried away but when you do like the 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 the, the, the ayurveda or the astrologers they focus yeah, they, because they want to use that for the benefit of the society they, they they do it it's their curiosity to know the secrets of the universe otherwise how would we come to know we wouldn't be able to come to know so in this manner so shravanam mananam nidhyasanam are there to resolve maybe not counteract resolve what i don't know i don't understand and i don't have an experience of it these three things and in this way uh, 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 this is the i don't know i don't understand i don't have experience of it all these are expressions of the tamas so now we are going into the trigunatmika prakriti the maya expresses as in three ways this is the spandan suddenly it will start moving everything in his creation is moving everything in creation manifest or unmanifest is having this throb 
that throb careful careful slowly everything in this creation is made up of this throb and this throb is of the sattva rajas tamas so whether i didn't do anything why you are doing man huh. so uh, and that is its nature everything where you you see that this building is oh last year we came it is the same same building same walls same roof same lights but it has deteriorated you can't see it but it has deteriorated time has taken its toll on this building in one year it is taking place every moment but you can't see it you can't see it in your body till someone says ajji abhi ajji abhi to main jawan hu ajji ka hai ko one person ka london mein ke ke see ajja has come ajja has come for till now nobody has ever called me ajja <laughs> but there uh, ajja swami ajja has come swami ajja so that fellow only calls me swami ajja now <laughs> in those two weeks it it caught his tongue <laughs> so that day i realized abhi ajja ka ajja ka time aa gaya see par jab tak koi bolega nahi ट्रिगर नहीं करेगा तब तक तुम सोचोगे नहीं इसी तरह से इन द सेम मैनर व्हाट डू वी वांट टू इनवोक फ्रॉम आवर माइंड इज डू वी इनवोक हाउ इम्परफेक्ट द वर्ल्ड इज और वी वांट टू इनवोक द परफेक्शन व्हिच इज ओनली गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय हर ग्रेस when we are when we are doing the sadhana of thinking about the lord then we keep the shakti on the side we say oh he is controller of shakti we don't need to go into shakti part we just think of the lord but here is a path that those people who say we can't give up the world this is the tantra tantra sadhana tantra sadhana means to rediscover the world as divine rediscover the world and that she blesses us with that she blesses us every aspect of the creation huh? every aspect the good the bad the ugly the 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 lower lokas the higher lokas hmm? uh, 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 you know in uh, tan tan the the typical tantra sadhana i can't remember the name of it they have the five m's uh, mas uh, mas maithunam madira there is woman also is called what is that i can't remember the name for it and one more so like this five m so all these are the you need all of them in your life people think that they they can't give up meat they can't give up drinks they can't give up uh, uh, you know uh, uh, sex so everything has to be converted into that is the tantra that is what people understand that they have to convert it into the divine experience aur uski ek alag sadhana hai but tantra and it's this is very gross tantra but when you go into uh, uh, the higher understanding what we are doing is higher understanding this is also tantra as long as you, see there is tantra there is mantra there is yantra so yantra is this body mantra is in the mind tantra is the goddess anything with form which is going to help you to grow is the tantra can you think of a form if without having a body can you experience the world without a body no you say oh ghost do ghost also has a form it's flowing but it is there see so yantra mantra tantra this is the path so where there is yantra there will then how do i get out of the yantra and disidentify with the yantra mantra and what will mantra give me 
Mantra will give you the tantra to see all forms as the divine forms. That she alone is expressing. This part is not done by, if you go to Vedanta, this part is not. I should not say, why I say it's not done? When you do Anvaya Sadhana, Neti Neti and Anvaya. The Anvaya Sadhana is this thing only. The word is different, Tantra. And in this way, in short, uh, here it says that every being, space, time, pursuits, the, their results, the methods of worship, the deities invoked, the happiness, the misery, the knowledge, all of them are per permeated by the three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. Tamas being the gross, rajas being the dynamic and sattva being the purity. Remember, same thing expresses in Ayurveda, ka ka kapha, pitta, vata. Similarly, what are the other, tell me if you can think of the three, what are three sums in this creation? I have given you two. Waking, dream, deep sleep, what else? Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, what else? Huh? Huh? Or Kali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, what else? Past, present, future, what else? You, you, have, you know. Three eyes. Huh? Three eyes. Three eyes. The, the, the sun, moon and the third eye. Okay. What else? The knowledge, knower, huh? knowledge, knower, knower, known, known and the knowing. Good. Subject, object, instrument of knowledge. What else? Created, created creations. Created, creator, created creation. Patalok, Bhulok and Bhuvalok. Huh? That is also there. What else? So many trios. So many trios. You keep thinking list is long. Sometimes sit in, sit, take a cup of tea in the sunshine like this and say, what is one? Write down. What is two? What all do I know in two? Write down. All possible. Brainstorm with yourself. Then three. Then four. Then give it to me. I'll publish it for you. Ah, yes. Yes. So, as you go down three, four, five, six, chalta uh, hai. And in this way, <coughs> everything, in short, we can say, every being in every age and every moment is under the power of Maya. There has never been a time that Maya has not been. She is Anadi. Remember, she is Anadi. And when does she... Ignorance concludes. You know, ignorance is Anadi. It's beginningless. But ignorance, when you have the knowledge, ignorance concludes. It's no more, you are not ignorant anymore. I am ignorant. If you ask me, Swami, you know, what is the size of the brick behind you? I don't know. But then I go, oh, now the ignorance is gone. Okay, I see, I take out, I weigh, I see the shape, etc. Whatever I need to know. But remember what did we say? At the individual level, it is called ignorance. At the total level, it is called Mahamaya. So is Mahamaya ignorance? No. <laughs> she is all-knowing principle. Only at individual level, she expresses as, uh, she gets crystallized into uh, the, 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 the mind. See? Her own expressions, see our expressions at uh, three Trigunatmika level are what? Sattva is waking, Rajas is dreaming, and, uh, Tamas is sleep. Same thing is happening at the totality level. Brahmaji is Rajas, Vishnu is Sattva and Mahesh is uh, Tamas. But they are not under influence of ignorance. So you cannot say Mahamaya is ignorance at total level. 
शी इज मोह शक्ति देर माया शक्ति दैट्स वाय दैट टाइम द इंडिया इंडियन गवर्नमेंट जस्ट ये डे आई केम टू नो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज ओपनिंग अ न्यू जस्ट लाइक अ विंडोज प्लेटफॉर्म विंडो ओ एस इंडिया इज स्टार्टिंग इट्स ओन माया ओ एस सो ऑल गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट स्टार्टिंग जुलाई दे विल बी रिप्लेस्ड ऑल विंडोज विल गो आउट एंड माया ओ एस विल कम because so much disturbance is going on no so to secure otherwise hacking happens maya os what is maya that which appears but is not <laughs> the potentiality so in this manner <clears throat> these three gunas they are always in flux they can never the moment they remain same two three thing two three things happen when they become equilibrium in equilibrium what will happen options first option samadhi first option samadhi second option actually that was second option first option sleep <laughs> when they become when they come into equilibrium i should not i should not joke because sleep is not when they are in equilibrium there tamas predominance is there when these three come into equilibrium samadhi happens when these three come into another three some you know ida pingla sushumna that is also the three some so when they come into only when these two become synchronized the sushumna opens up only when Durga and Sir Lakshmi have done their job. Then Saraswati will appear. Otherwise, she will not. <clears throat> so, in this way, the, the each one is always trying to uh, be more predominant than the other. Sometimes the tamas wants to be uh, powerful and put down the other two. Sometimes rajas wants to be powerful and put down the other two. And sometimes the sattva is powerful and it wants to put down the other two. And this game is going on. It is not. Uh, uh, it is not uh, that uh, that you can you can control it. You can control it. I'm not saying that you can't. we and we must try to do that also but it is best if it is if it is happening uh, uh by her will when we observe why i am like this and why my child is like this why i am like this and the world is like this why all the people are so different if everyone is having senses mind and intellect and body if everyone is having legs and hands and stomach and hair Uh, head why someone is intelligent someone is not intelligent why someone grasps quickly and someone grasps slowly why someone walks in a particular way even though they have the same legs similar legs everyone is unique on what account it is this because of the admixture of these three gunas that one become the uniqueness in each person comes about and you can never get a person who is totally satvik totally rajasik totally tamasik some part of tamas and rajas will be there in the total sattva some person who is absolutely dynamic in that person also there will be some proportion of sattva and tamas and the person who is totally tamasik that person will have some portion of the other two and in this way sattva means that which is now remember another name for whom did we see sattva was buddhi was called sat, sattva and another name for sattva sattva is used for brahma ji the effulgent one the luminous one so sattva means that which is of the nature of luminosity that which is effulgent that which is flawless that which is elegant that which is uh, uh, what you call uh, is not attached to anything it's attached only to the happiness and in this way when you are attached uh, 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 to 
happiness and knowledge and uh, you are, right now all of you are sattvic but the moment class concludes and you want tea coffee you are you are rajasic and if sitting has been too long and you want to go to sleep then you are tamasic but right now you are sattvic well at least this is what i am seeing <laughs> you know what is going on inside ha huh? so this is uh, this is the sattvic then what is uh, rajas uh, rajas is of the nature of passion dynamism now these are we are talking about you tamasic when we talk about the rakshasas and the demons that are going to be killed by the the mata the, 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 the mahamaya or jagadamba where she has to take appropriate forms to kill the appropriate demons satvik form cannot kill uh, uh, the tamasic demons see so she has to invoke equ equivalent energy at that time why why saras saraswati has got no weapons only so what will she kill with whereas when you see kaliya mata she is not confused with many things only one khadak and one bowl <laughs> and mundamala chal bhai and that also is a half skull ah, where is the blood coming <laughs> where is durga mata she has got 12 hands 10 hands somewhere, somewhere they show 10 or 12 isn't it dynamism dynamism kali mata is not dressed up at all no vehicle or sometimes they show vehicle also but only these two things would long tongue so appropriate can the wife address the child mother only can address the child isn't it yes it's a different part different story if the mother has accepted the husband also as a child <laughs> ऐसे होता है ऐसे होता है रामकृष्णा वाइफ शी कंसिडर आनंद मई माँ शी गे शी बिकेम शी द हजबेंड यू नो एनी दंपत्ति दे वॉन्ट टू बी टुगेदर आफ्टर मैरिज बट वेन यू वेंट टू टच हर ही गॉट द शॉक ऑफ हिज लाइफ बिकॉज शी वॉज टोटली इंटॉक्सिकेटेड विथ कृष्णा 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 एंड इवेंचुअली वेन ही केप्ट ऑब्जर्विंग देर समथिंग डिफरेंट अबाउट माई वाइफ and slowly slowly he also uh, took diksha from his wife became a disciple of his wife but he is her husband hari babu ka akshri hari naam tha unka kuch so aise hota hai hai amma ji without being married without having any children but has the love for every person in this world is her child and she works hard to bring their mind at peace and their problems uh, 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 take away their problems give them the love and where we are main mera ghar meri gaadi mere bacche mere grand bacche isi mein atke hue are there is potential is infinite potential is infinite so it is of the nature of passion it is of the nature of dynamism it is the nature of desire rajas we are talking about and and extreme attachment uh, it it binds the self through attachment to actions and its fruit it is this rajas which makes the doership and enjoyership come out dynamic activity hmm? till you are sleeping it is not <clears throat> what does tamas express tamas makes you to get attached to happiness and where, where do you experience maximum happiness in sleep as an individual so you want to keep lying going back to sleep rajas so you tamas makes you get attached to happiness that ignorant bliss rajas makes you get attached to doing and accruing the fruit 
and in this way the third one is tamas and tamas is the the uh, is the deluder from which the uh, uh, which deludes all the beings uh, 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 to believe that they are born of ignorance because individuality is a product of ignorance understand this individuality is not a uh, something to wear, wear a feather cap, feather on your cap that you know i am an individual hum kitne khush hote hain koi bachcha paida hota hai to hum khush hote hain koi marta hai to when is there to go to a funeral <laughs> you get happy if someone is born we get happy when someone is dying why he is going back to being the source and you are happy acha chalo ek aur phas gaya is duniya mein ab mera time aa raha hai isko phasa ke chale jate hain all mothers are thinking the same way swami ji bless she is not getting married swami ji bless she is not getting married to phasana hai phasane ke chakkar hai sorry you are i am speaking hindi in between sorry catherine ha yeah. ah, okay You understand Hindi? No, no. only little bit. Little bit. No. You lived in India for some time. Yeah. So, so in this manner, uh, the rajas makes the makes the self identify with the body through attachment to actions and their fruits. Uh, now to tamas. And what is tamas? It is born out of ignorance. and it binds the self uh, uh, to, to the body uh, through attachment to what were the three we told you avidya no uh, nidra alasya pramad nidra alasya pramad and in this way these are the first thing is knowing now you are listening you will come to know now you cannot say i don't know what satva rajas tamas is remember tamas expresses as i don't know i don't understand i don't have experience now you know if you are nodding you understand also and you are having experience also i have given enough examples so you can't say i don't know what is happening you know you know come back to this basic knowledge and in this way <coughs> the the goddess says that to go beyond satva rajas tamas is not possible if you are thinking of satva rajas tamas you cannot go beyond satva rajas tamas she says you come to me i will take you beyond satva rajas tamas because only she has the capacity she know she is the unmanifest she is the unmanifest and she is the brahmani So you are understanding what we are saying she is the un, she is the manifest she is the unmanifest at the totality level and she is the brahmani which is none other so brahman who gave the name brahman to brahman why can't you give it brahmani same thing so she says you come to me i will take you beyond everything i'll i'll lead you to transcendence and in this way <coughs> uh um, here we see when when this rajas and tamas sattva is the state of wisdom sattva is the purity sasta sattva is the luminosity sattva is the effulgence sattva is the clarity sattva is where uh, you hear and you understand because there is no clutter in your mind so immediately knowledge takes place but when the rajas and tamas are playing their havoc then it becomes a bit difficult <laughs> and here it says that that we must as we are living our life we must keep these you know just like you get hung how many times in a day you get hungry huh? so when hunger comes you do what is required to be take, done keep it otherwise it will make you angry after some time isn't it if your hunger is not taken care of it will make you angry 
so you put a little bit we had that's why i cut fruit for you you take food, coffee 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 aur phir aake sab khade ho jaye full rajas coffee isliye maine satvik fruits ke laaye tumko ha to to is tarike se this rajas and tamas are also continuously rising they are, remember i told you before they are always fighting for predominance i want to be powerful sleep says tamas says i want to be powerful rajas says i want to be powerful the sattva doesn't get a chance <laughs> the good thoughts in our mind are few bad thoughts are many we are, they are always surrounded any good thought is always surrounded by lot of negative thoughts see so you have to fight to come to that light you have to go through the uh, so when you are afraid of darkness what do you do straight away put the light on so how do you put the light on in your mind first thing is yes first thing is you have to put the light on but before you put the light on you have to make a decision that it's that th- that that i have to overcome the fear and then put the light on isn't it the fear of absence the fear of darkness i have to i know i am afraid but i'll keep it on the side first let me put the light on i don't know what is happening in the next room it's okay hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna so yeah par wo bhagwan ka naam lene ke liye you have to you were afraid you are afraid but you have to put it on the side same way this rajas and tamas who are con- continuously fighting for predominance we have to pacify them again and again again and again again and again so that sattva can flower so you have to keep the ida and pingla uh, balance it out so that sushumna can open up the kundalini can rise so you have to uh, keep the roles yeah so we didn't uh, i didn't even cover that then so these tamas just quickly i'll recap because i need to put it in this so the predominance of tamas uh, and uh, more uh, equal intensity of rajas and tamas and predominance of rajas predominance of tamas is uh, shown in the durga saptashati as our madhu and kaitap then the equal intensities intensities of rajas and tamas they, they are shown through mahishasura and his generals and his army which is in crores and crores millions of them madhu kaitap only two mahishasura and his army millions of them and the last one the predominance of rajas is shown as shumbha nishumbha and uh, these are uh, uh, these are the stories that are depicted in in the durga saptashati through uh, take, by taking showing durga the the goddess or the devi as a have, with a particular form and also the various demons or rakshasas also having a particular form like mahishasur he is of the form of uh, mahishi mahisha is a buffalo water buffalo and uh, madhu madhu is nectar kaitab we dekhenge fir mere ko bhi dekhna padega kya hai to is tarike se har ek every demon has a quality and uh, characterizations have been given uh, jab hum bacche the uh, my uh, i remember in every house it happens and uh, if you have boy and girl the girl will have her tea party those chote chote cups and uh, pots and uh, gas and stove uh, acha dada now you you enter through the door and she is the mummy and the father comes exactly the same dialogue what dad says and the same dialogue hai tere ki as mummy says and she will give the you quart tea like this you make the tea 
then he has to remind hey it is fakey <laughs> don't get don't get angry on me <laughs> so he is playing acting the father or the friend or whatever so that drama what kitna maza aata hai jab dekhte hai bacche karte hai to to usi tarah se this whole drama is going on we are not able to see it as drama why why we are not able to see it as drama because we are under the influence of ignorance not my ignorance when we invoke we want to dissolve this ignorance and this di- ignorance get dissolved only by invoking the light and we are taking the support of uh, the shakti to take us to that light to show us that light because she is of the nature of light and why we are calling her, uh, invoking her because she is compassionate and sh- then she starts showing you this whole game that is going on provided you hold on to her if you don't hold on to her you will get again carried away this fear are that fear are this regret are that depression usi mein phas jaoge fir usme se niklo and this way people uh, uh, to to tell this story of uh, durga saptashati uh, uh, when we listen to this story when we read this story when we chant this story when we talk on this uh, durga saptashati it brings about deep inner peace and uh, tranquility and this story of uh, uh, because durga just like bhagavad gita is a part of mahabharat isn't it where does it come in bhishma parva where does it come in bhishma parva right in the middle of the bhishma parva how many verses only 700 verses how big is mahabharat oh my god thousands and thousands and thousands of verses out of that only 700 verses same way this durga saptashati also comes in not in mahabharat or ramayan but it comes in markandeya purana and it is the heart of the markandeya purana and how it comes about and how the glory of mother was brought out by markandeya ji uh, and then who wrote it how it came to us the way it has come to us today that we'll see it on our next class and with that we conclude this session om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम सिट क्वाइटली फॉर अ मोमेंट